In this video, I'm dominating solo Unreal ranked lobbies, and it is crazy. I'm using my brand new controller with my brand new controller settings, which will all be at the end. So make sure you watch the entire thing and check these settings out. What the hell? What the hell? Yo, Northern! Oh my god! Um, I finished most of my most of my math when I was in uh, high school, so or not high school, middle school. Why not? Why not right when I could? If I had the option to. That's what I did too. I graduated. I took like no classes my senior year. I think like. I think I literally only took English in like one other class my senior year. Oh my freaking god! Fish in the water? How are you not dead? Like, how is you not dead? I actually How'd you even get your hands on a medallion, bro? Be honest with me. Stop. The only time I took a break was when squad FNCS was a thing, and I low-key regret it. But, like, yep. How did this brother get his hand on medallion? Not even just that, how did he get his hand on Peter Bump? Ninety four Y, by the way. Nice, man. A little fifteen bomb. 
for the one time. Hey guys, I know you guys have been waiting for my settings, bro. My new controller, as you guys can see, look at this thing. It is freaking beautiful, man. This is the PS5 Scuff Reflex FPS, I believe. It has mouse click triggers and bumpers, so it's literally just a little, little, little taps, little mouse clicks, you know, like something. They, they feel absolutely amazing. This controller, fully customized, cost about $370, probably. Absolutely insane price tag not gonna lie you guys don't have to spend that much you guys can get basic ones for like two hundred dollars i just had this one crazy customized with the pink the green everything it it looks really good it looks it literally goes with my logo guys i mean look at it that thing's freaking beautiful man absolutely beautiful but i know you guys don't care nearly as much as about the controller that i'm using as you do the settings that i'm using so we're just going to go through all of these today. We're going to go through the display settings, the audio, everything you might need to know. So we can first, we do have the display settings. Now we have our resolution 1920 by 1080. VSync off, don't use this. That's what's the point. Frame rate, I have it at 360. I do have a 360 hertz monitor. It's an Alienware monitor. We play on performance mode because there's nothing else worth playing on. This should actually be at 150. I don't know why it's at 100. That should be at 150. I use 150, 1X. I don't touch this at all. I have no reason to touch this. I use Tritonope 3. I think it looks the best for like visuals in the game. My 3D res is at 0%, but my game looks fine. I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure what happened to be honest. I don't know why this is at 0%, but this is off. I don't even know what this is. We have all low, everything show FPS on report performance stats. That's off. So my audio, nothing too crazy to look at here. I mean, at 41 main max sound effects, sound quality, high visual sound effects. Uh, I don't use voice chat. Nothing too crazy going on here. Now, I do play East mainly. I'm zero ping on East. But for competitive, I do play Central. So I'm 35 MS on Central, which isn't horrible. Not going to lie. It's not horrible. Toggle Sprint, I think this is worth using. Auto Open Doors, I love this. Been using this since it came out. Hold Jump for Mantle is the best thing of all time. Press Jump for Hurdle, also the best thing of all time. Hold Swap Pickup. If you guys don't know what this is, I literally hold my square button down. And instead of just spam picking something up i can hold it down and it'll just automatically swap it to that spot i don't know it's super good super great i love it a lot off on auto pickup weapons off i use it on in tournaments because that's how you win more 50 50s but not everyone knows that it's a secret if we look at my item slots i have shotgun first slot smg second and my ar last that basically makes it so whenever i have my shotgun i could tap my right bumper and go to my smg or I, if i'm on my shotgun i can tap my left bumper and go to my ar so if i'm out of ammo for one and i know that i can still swap the other one without having to press it twice it's super super easy auto consort symbols i have that off reset building choice on disable pre-edit now i do have pre-edits on i'm not using it off like i can pre-edit people i think it's really worth it i have i do not use edit on release or the reset option i think it's really bad especially for controller i just don't think it's good tutorial off all this stuff's like kind of all personal preference i keep my replays on Make sure you turn these energy saving options completely off. You do not want these at all. They make your game run way worse. Now, coming over to the HUD settings, we have our reticle on, on, obviously. Now, I use list that gives you the beautiful numbers of it'll show you the exact damage you're hitting for, like 18, 18, 18. You know what I'm saying? I have to add it up, but it's fine. I'm quick maths. You know what I'm saying? Hitting icons, I have max number. I have max damage scale numbers, something I just like using because it looks better for like montages and stuff like that. Uh, do not use gyro options. Do not use these. Uh, they're the worst things in the world. Okay, don't use these. Don't touch these. They're not worth using. All right. Moving on. These are my keyboard settings. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. These are my keyboard settings. 3.1, 3.1, 50-50. Building at sensitivity editing is 115, 115, something super slight. When I do play keyword, I turn both of these on, gives you less uh, input delay on keyboard and mouse. Uh, this is my double movement settings for keyboard. If you guys really want to copy it, I do play keyboard sometimes and expect a keyboard progression video soon. I'm excited to do that. But here's my keyboard binds. I'm just going to kind of scroll through these real quick. I'm not going to go through them too much individually. You know, we got our building wall, floor, cone, normal stuff. I edit with V. You know, nothing too crazy going on. That's honestly about all you need to see for that. There's really not too much going on here. Now we have the bread and butter, man. The bread and butter. Controller auto run, on. Build immediately, on. Edit hold time, doesn't matter because we have instant edit from custom binds. Slide hold time, 0 0.85. 0 0.085. My bad, my bad. 
I don't use any of this. I don't know what this is, so I just don't touch it at all. Quick weapon, don't. Don't use quick weapon. It's not good. Don't use it. Please don't. All right. Toggle behavior, like I said, don't use quick weapon at all. So now we get down to the bread and butter. These are grayed out. These don't matter at all because we have advanced options enabled. And if you're not using advanced options, switch to it now. You guys will get 20 times better at the game. Give yourself time to adjust. But we're using edit sensitivity and build sensitivity here. Now, build is 1.9 and edit is 2.5. You might think, oh my God, that's crazy high. What's going on? Trust me. Get used to it. Play the game with it. It'll feel great. Just give it some time. 43, 43 with a 2, 2 boost. I've been using this sensitivity. I'm not kidding for like the last year, guys. So, I mean... I know these settings work. I know when you guys see the settings, you're like, oh, these settings are fake. You're not actually using those. I promise you, I've used these settings for so long. They're so good. Same with my ADS. I've been using my ADS probably for around, probably since like chapter three, dude. These ADS setting right here, like I be beaming, beaming. Uh, no look dampening time. We are on linear with our aim assist strength at 100, of course. Come on now. Uh, 10 dead, dead zone. I find this to be the best. You know, it's just every single controller I've used, 10-10, I get, don't get any drift in the controller. just feels great. Uh, the other stuff doesn't really matter too much. Now, let's just go through the binds really quick. I do use custom binds, like I said. So, I use jump, which is actually on my back paddle. So, if I didn't tell you guys, this controller has four back paddles. I don't know if you can see it, but it has four back paddles. So, I have my jump bound to my right back paddle. And then my sprint to my upper right back paddle. Switch mode is on my left back paddle, and then pickaxe is on my upper left paddle. So if you guys see binds where you're like, how is he hitting those? They're most likely on my back paddle. But let's just keep going through here. We have obviously normal fire. You know, reload and use is square. Next weapon's my bumpers. This is my back paddle. Uh, let's see. We don't have anything too crazy. You know, not too much going on. Like I said, switch mode's on my back paddle. We do, I just crouch with right stick, nothing too crazy there. I do edit, I edit with left stick and I confirm with uh, left trigger. So anytime I'm confirming, I'm just hitting this button right here. Super easy, super simple. I've been using that forever as well. I confirm with RB. I confirm with RB and reset with left trigger. What was I saying? I think I got that backwards. That's my fault. But other than that, I mean, that's like... That's basically the gist of it, guys. I mean, let me know if you guys like these settings and if you're going to try them. And if you do try them, let me know how they felt, bro. Like, actually, I'd love to know your guys' opinion. Maybe give me some settings to try. I'll try some random settings from the comments. But as always, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video, right? Yeah.